brought you to my lab, to my kitchen, because I'm about to prepare a really delicious Mediterranean. I'm from Spain, so I bring you a pure Mediterranean recipe for roasted chicken. <laughs> You know, when we are on a low-carb diet, anti-inflammatory diet, we still can eat healthy and can be easy and much more affordable than eating a roasted chicken from a store that is going to be full of hormones and antibiotics. What is very important when we talk about gut health is that we want to the, we want to pay attention to the source, the source of the animal. It has to be from a pasture-raised animal or grass-fed, if it's beef, a grass-fed finish, prefer. A pasture-raised or free-range, that's what we want to with our hormones, antibiotics, because that is what is really causing the damage. I always say that if you don't find the food clean, it's better not to eat it. Like, if, if I want to eat chicken, but I don't find a, a clean chicken at the supermarket, I'd rather eat something else. So the most important thing to consider, no matter what we eat, for proper gut health, we have to avoid all pesticides, hormones, antibiotics. The animal has to be pasture-raised or free-range. And I want to show you how to make here some very easy roasted chicken with one of my favorite herbs from the Mediterranean, which is rosemary. In Spain, we use rosemary, thyme, oregano all the time. And rosemary is a really good antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. It's one of the best antimicrobials and it's really good for belly fat burning. If you make a tea with one teaspoon of rosemary leaves, a day is also amazing for belly fat burning. So try to add antimicrobial herbs in your diet. So that will help you always in keeping a good balance of the beneficial and the opportunistic microbes in your gut. So every time that you are cooking, think about turmeric and ginger as anti-inflammatory foods like if you will be adding salt and pepper. And think about herbs like rosemary, thyme, and oregano if, like, for antimicrobial purposes and balancing the gut microbes. So that is what I'm gonna be adding in the chicken that I'm preparing here today because I thought I'm just gonna jump in. If I'm making the chicken with very good anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial properties and it's a very simple recipe and you have chicken in bulk for several meals. So it's a really, really good way as well to prepare a meal in bulk. Eating healthy means control every single ingredient of what we put on our plate. So putting more hands in the kitchen is usually the key to do that. So it, for that, I always recommend prepping and preparing in bulk. So making a chicken in the oven is something that's just putting it all together requires five minutes you will see how simple it is and then you have meat for a long time and chicken is uh, one of the meats if you eat animal protein that uh, is okay for gut health and so that's you know why i brought you to the, the kitchen we are going to be using also other foods that are antimicrobial like garlic is really rich in allicin which has antimicrobial properties limes or lemons which i'm gonna wash right now I, I wash them before i'm gonna wash them a little bit more they have detoxification properties just rinse them a little bit so this chicken helps you detoxifying balancing the gut microbes it's a really good protein if you which remember it's important to add protein in every single meal no matter if you are a muscle builder or not but if you want to prevent losing muscle as well it's a very important macronutrient uh, so let's get started what i'm using here today is a chicken from a local farm if you can find your meat locally that is always preferred so local farm this is a pasture raised chicken, which means it's a chicken that has been pasturing around 
free, eating warm, eating healthy. That's what we want. And it doesn't have any injections because a lot of chickens that we buy at the store, they look very big, but it's not because they have muscle. It's because they inject them with acetylene and other chemicals after they kill the chicken to grow the muscle. So it looks like you have a huge gigantic chicken, but actually it's all or hormonal or they inject those chemicals after they kill them. So be sure that you buy, if you can, local from a local farm. If not, at least has to be pasture raised chicken and no injections. So I was the chicken inside and outside and then I um, pat dry it a little bit around. I don't want any leftovers of water. And then what we are gonna do first is stuff the chicken. Simple, you will see, very simple. Preheat the oven first, always, because otherwise I always forget that I have to wait after. Always preheat your oven 400 Fahrenheit. And before I forget, this is a recipe that I have in my book, Ketorenian Diet Solution. I designed a ke the Ketorenian Diet, which is a blend between low-carb diet and Mediterranean diet. It's mixing the best of both worlds, the low sugar, high fat, um, ketogenic diet with the best of the Mediterranean diet, but eliminating the foods that cause inflammation in both of them, because it's still not pure ketogenic diets work, not everything in the Mediterranean diet works either. And of course, every person's body is different and how we behave to food is also different as well. So uh, always we have to listen to our body and modify accordingly. Or, or if there is anything in particular uh, more specific that happens, then we have to modify it. But this book has more than a hundred recipes for interest, for vegan and non-vegan people, meal plan as well. The chicken is in here, the one that we are gonna make with a few modifications. Look, the picture of the product of what we are making. Each recipe in this book come with a photo so you know how it's gonna look like at the end. The snacks, desserts, everything. Low carb, anti-inflammatory. So if you suffer from any gut, the gut problems, diabetes, hormonal problems. This is a good starting point. You can uh, find it on Amazon. So let's start making the chicken. So we have our chicken. So what I'm gonna make is what I'm gonna wrap around the chicken and inside the chicken first. So then for that, what I'm doing, I'm using a high smoke point because we are cooking the chicken in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit. We wanna use an oil that has a high smoke point that is not releasing free radicals. Oils, whenever they reach their smoke point, they start releasing free radicals that causes a lot of tissue damage, DNA mutation, high risk of cancer. So extra virgin olive oil is not for cooking at high temperatures like that. So I'm using avocado oil. I'm gonna put it in a container so I'm just gonna add by eye a little bit. Maybe this is about quarter cup of avocado oil. Has to be cold pressed, centrifugal extracted, or first pressed. So then in my oil, about quarter cup, what I'm gonna add is the spices. So I'm gonna add non-refined salt. In my case, I'm gonna add um, he, uh, Hawaiian salt, you can add Celtic salt, Himalayan salt, Hawaiian salt. This is says organic. So what happens with organic? Not all organic meat means it's clean. Organic means that those chickens were fed with organic food. Like for example, organic grains, but they can still be fed with genetically modified corn. So not just organic meat, organic meat means it's clean. We want to look for grass fed or pasture raised. So those animals have been eating clean pasturing around. Uh, so I'm going to add salt by eye, like as you can see, like three pinches of salt, four. This was about three teaspoons 
I'm gonna add black pepper. You can add whatever spices of your choice you want. If you want garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper. I'm not using cayenne pepper because uh, it's a nice shade and we are making an anti-inflammatory chicken. And nice shades can cause inflammation if you are healing your gut. So no pepper, the only pepper that you can use is black pepper. So I'm adding salt, black pepper, cumin, cumin, coriander are really good spices for digestion, Indian spices, turmeric, ginger, cumin, coriander, which is what makes curry. So you can see I'm putting by eye like a bunch of, a lot of spice. There are a lot of supermarkets and health food stores that they sell clean animals, like clean chickens and clean beef, even if you don't find a local farm. Also try to search, you live in United States, there is something called CSA, Community Society Agriculture. So when you enter in CSA, Community Society Agriculture online, you can see all the local farms that are sustainable for no hormones, no antibiotics, no pesticides for vegetables and you can buy from them, you can go pick it up, they can deliver at your home, so that's a really good way. Otherwise, they, in a lot of supermarkets you can find pasture-raised chicken, that's what you have to look for. So I added salt, pepper and cumin and as I said today I'm going to use one of my favorite herbs from the Mediterranean which is antimicrobial, so help you balancing gut microbes and also really good for belly fat burning. So I'm gonna use rosemary. So I just pull, as you can see, the green part from the stems. Like I just basically pull down. So I'm gonna make about a couple of tablespoons and then I'm gonna chop it. You can put it in your chopper, your food processor, whatever makes your life easier. I can also recommend you what type of spices you can put. Uh, but as I said, if you have gastrointestinal issues, nice shades are a no. If you are sensitive to FODMAP or if you have SIBO, you are going to have to cut out FODMAPs. FODMAP is the abbreviation for fructose, oligosaccharidae, disaccharidae, monosaccharidae, and polyols. And that is a type of carbohydrate that some people are not able to digest. So it gets fermented by the yeast and the bacteria in the gut. So that, uh, some foods that are high in FODMAP is garlic and onion. And I know that hurts because garlic and onion is one of the favorite spices in the dry form or the fresh form for a lot of people. But if you are sensitive to FODMAP while you are healing your gut, not forever, that is a big no. So I'm going to add uh, the rosemary together with my other spices. You can add also, you don't have fresh, you can add dry, that is also fine. I'm adding about two tablespoons of the fresh, you can add about two tablespoons of the dry. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them in the chicken. So basically what I'm gonna do is wrap them in the chicken. So we just mix everything together and I'm gonna wrap inside the chicken and outside. So just a little bit so it gets the taste, it's gonna be like, you will see no dry chicken, really juicy, really clean and healthy, really good protein that you can make in bulk for your meals. I'm gonna rub it all over the chicken outside, everywhere. In that way it's gonna get all the flavor from all the spices. The same when you make turkey. Like I know here Thanksgiving is coming soon. In November, people make a lot of turkey. So this is the same for making turkey. I prefer chicken than turkey. Turkey takes forever to make and it's super dry. But you can use also anti-inflammatory spices. Put them inside and outside. Very good. And now that we wrap all the chicken, 
So we have the chicken like this. Like if we will be laying down on our back, so the chicken is laying down on the back. And now we are going to stuff the chicken. So what we are going to put? So I recommend always to put some lemon or lime. If you don't have histamine intolerance, if you have histamine intolerance, lemon or lime, I don't know. If you don't have histamine intolerance, lemon and lime are perfect for detoxification. Drinking lemon or lime juice in the morning on an empty stomach is really good for cleansing, help you go to the bathroom. So I have a couple of limes, we cut them in halves and we just put them in. So I'm gonna put first two. And then if you are not sensitive to FODMAPs and you can eat garlic, or even if you are sensitive to FODMAPs, the trick is this. You can cook the chicken with garlic, but then whenever you are going to eat the chicken after it's cooked, don't eat the garlic itself. The chicken got the flavor, but you don't eat the garlic. So in that way, if you are sensitive to FODMAP, you can still eat the garlic, but not straight. But the chicken is going to get the flavor. So very simple way to eat your garlic. We are going to just cut it in half. This is just to give flavor to the chicken. So we cut it in half. So we have it like this. And then we just pull out the cloves. Separate. But cut them in half because it's going to add a better flavor. And remember, if you tolerate garlic, garlic is really rich in allicin. Allicin is a really potent antioxidant, antimicrobial, has amazing properties. But of course, not everybody feels good with garlic. And we're just going to put them in, the chicken. So we just throw them in. And then what I'm going to add is I'm going to take another big leaf of rosemary. If you had it dry and you rub it, that's fine. But if you have fresh cilantro, parsley, or the herbs, basil, just put it in. This is going to add extra flavor. And then I'm going to put the rest of the two limes. They are small limes, so everything fits in. All right, and that's it. So then to prevent that the, the stuff is coming out, you can get like a toothpicks or you can get something that you can wrap the legs with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap the legs. I will put some toothpick in there. And that's it, that's it. This is how you make your chicken. You don't need anything else. It's as simple as this. So as you can see, it takes five minutes and you're gonna have meat for a long time. But it's about thinking what ingredients I can put on my meal that are helping in healing. So herbs, as I said, like thyme, oregano, rosemary, you can put basil. All of those are really amazing for uh, antimicrobial. Uh, spices like cumin, coriander are really good for digestion, turmeric, um, and then um, lemon lime for detoxification. If you tolerate garlic, garlic also is a really good, amazing antimicrobial. So I'm just going to put it in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit for one hour and a half. So you forget about it. It's as simple as five minutes preparing the chicken and put it in the oven for one hour and a half. And that's it, very simple meal. I always say, you know, if you don't know how to cook, just spice it up. Adding spices is never wrong. Adding spices is what is gonna add always the good flavor. And it doesn't matter fresh, dry, but add spices because they add a lot of beneficial properties to your diet. So, so yeah, I wanted to bring you here to show you a very simple way how we cook in Spain a Mediterranean chicken that has a lot of benefits and then you are going to have a meal in bulk 
for a while. So I hope you give a try to this chicken. Remember, you can find it also in my book, Keto Rene and Diet Solution, uh, that is available on Amazon. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.